Hi, I'm going to show you how to use isolated environments in Python for HPC 2N's Capnagaise as part of a course with multiple programming languages and multiple HPC centers. So isolated environments or virtual environments are independent sets of packages that work together well. You can imagine if you have two projects that each project needs different Python ver versions um, and sometimes there are conflicts in those versions um, and that's why you want to have two isolated, isolated combinations of packages. These are managed by uh, virtual environment managers in which Conda and VENV um, are the most important ones and we're going to use VENV because it works on all centers in this course. The general workflow for using virtual environments is to create one, activate one, use it and deactivate it again. Um, and that's what we'll be doing. There's a video here um, and there are two exercises and one is to uh, remove all the Python packages that are installed in the global home folder that are used by everything and it doesn't make sense to use that. So here I'm on Kepnekaise and I'm going to remove all my installed Python packages that I've installed globally, so not in an isolated environment. It doesn't make sense to have packages here when using isolated environments. I get an error because I don't have them, but maybe for you there will be some packages deleted, which you can always reinstall later. The second exercise, now we're ready to use virtual environments. We're going to create one called vpyenv, virtual Python environment. And these are the steps we'll be taking. So we are using HPC 2N here. We're gonna load the modules we need. And the beauty about this is that the, this, these modules, they load some packages um, and we can easily use them in our virtual environment now. We don't need to install, F, uh, we don't need to install a lot of packages anymore. So this step is creating a virtual environment. Um, this goes wrong because you need to put your username here. So I'm going to there. I'm going to type my username here. And now I'm creating a virtual environment called vpyenv. That's this thing. I need to activate that thing. And uh, that's the next line. So this takes a bit of time still there. So you can see uh, that I store my virtual Python environments in a project folder, project folder for this course. Um, and there's a subfolder for my name. And here I put a subfolder for Python, things, and the last folder is called vpyenv. Well, now I'm going to activate that thing. And again, I need to replace username by my username. There, and now we see in my prompt that I have a virtual environment active now called vpyenv. Now, I'm already going to do a, a pip list in the back, and this is what we'll, we'll be installing, uh, the Seaborn package. And while it's installing, I'm going to show you that it's not there yet. Seaborn. So here we see that there's no Seaborn package yet. Um, we're installing it now. And if you do pip list again now, you'll see it is installed. There. So we've installed Seaborn in this virtual Python environment. Well done, we've, we've already checked this. And now we need to deactivate the virtual environment to be out of it. And if we take a look now at our installed Python packages, we see that Seaborn is uh, gone again. So that is what we have been doing. We've created an isolated environment for Python using VNF um, for HPC2N's Capnikaise. With that, I wish you a very good day. Bye.